scholars! My name is Ms. Jeans and I'm here to help you with your first grade skills lessons. Today we're on Skills 2, Lesson 17. Our objectives for today are to distinguish between common and proper nouns, read and spell tricky words, distinguish long vowel sounds from short vowel sounds, and read with purposing and understanding while answering questions. We're going to start off with some of that noun practice. Now, I want you to tell me which word is a proper noun. Remember, a proper noun is the name of a person, place, or thing. A noun is a person, place, or thing, but the proper noun is the name. So a noun would be teacher, and the proper noun for me would be Miss Janes, because that's my name. I am a teacher, that's a noun. But my name is Miss Jeans. That's a proper noun. My first example is President and George Washington. Which word is the noun and which one is the proper noun? So, President is the common noun. And George Washington is the proper noun. Let's try another. City and Utica. Which word is the proper noun or the name of a city? Utica is a proper noun or the name of a city. Syracuse is another example of a proper noun. City is a common noun. Next example. United States, country. Which word is the proper noun or the name? United States or country? That's right, United States is the name of our country. So that is a proper noun. Number four. School, Syracuse Academy of Science. Which word is the proper noun? School or Syracuse Academy of Science? That's right, Syracuse Academy of Science or Utica Academy of Science are the names of our schools. But school is just a common noun because there are a lot of different schools. Number five, Fourth of July, holiday. Which word is the proper noun? Fourth of July or holiday? Fourth of July is the name of a holiday, so Fourth of July is a proper noun. Holiday is a common noun because there are other holidays. Last example, Josh, character. Which word is the proper noun, Josh or character? Josh is the proper noun. Character is the common noun. Just like in the stories we've been reading, there are many characters, but Josh is the name of a character. Just like Jen is the name of a character or a proper noun. Student is a common noun. What's your name? Your name is a proper noun. There are lots of students, but there's only one of you with your name. Great job practicing our proper nouns. Give yourselves a little pat on the back. And we've got a new story from our grand reader today. 
Today's story is called The Trip West. The Trip West is on page 70. I'm going to show you a map and show you where the West Coast is in the United States so you can see what we're talking about. Here is a map of the United States of America. We live over here in New York State. The West Coast is all the way over here. Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, Arizona, those are all the way on the other coast. We live near the East Coast. This is near the West Coast. The story we learn about today is going to be about a trip west over to the West Coast. Before we read, let's look at some words we need to practice. Repeat after me. Made. Take. Came. Plain. Safe. Shakes. These are all words with our long A sound. Now we've got some with the long I sound. Repeat after me. Smiles. Ride. Like. Drives. And we've got a couple more. One with the long E. Greet. And one with the long U, mule. We have some vocabulary words as well. The first vocabulary word is ranch. A ranch is a place to raise livestock like cattle or cows. The second word is greet. Greet means to welcome and say hello. The third word is mule. A mule is an animal that's similar to a horse or a donkey, but usually a little bit smaller. And the last vocabulary word is packs. Packs are bundles for carrying things. In our story today, The Trip West, you're going to read to find out who will take a trip west and what will happen? Who do you think is going to go on this trip west? What do you think will happen when they get there? I don't know. Let's find out. Read along with me. You'll have some questions to answer after the story. The Trip West. I have made plans to take a trip, says Gran. My pal Tech has a ranch in the West. It will be a lot of fun. Gran smiles, but Josh and Jen are sad. We will miss you, says Jen. What will we do here, says Josh. Well, says Gran, what if you kids came on the trip with me? Your mom and dad said I can take you with me. Yes, the kids yell. Take us with you. Take us with you. Josh and Jen pack their bags. They get in a cab with Gran. Then... They get on a plane. So we know now who's going on this trip. Will we be safe on this plane? Jen asks. Yes, says Gran. This will be a safe plane ride. Not like the one 
Buzz had with Mel. Remember the story about the two cats? That was not a safe plane ride. When the plane lands, Gran rents a van and drives the kids to the ranch. Tex is there to greet them. He is a big man with a big hat. He shakes hands with Josh and Jen. Then he hugs Gran. See here, he's shaking hands with Jen. At the ranch, there is a mule with packs on his back and bells on his neck. Remember, we said packs carry things, so the packs are on the mule. That is Sam, says Tex. He has all the camp stuff in his pack. Will we get to camp? asks Jen. Tex nods. Yep, he has your tent on his back. Josh and Jen run to Sam. They pet the mule. Sam shakes and his bells ring. The kids smile. Let's see, did we find out who went on the trip? It was Gran, Josh, and Jen. And what happened when they went on this trip? They took a plane and a van. Oh, and they even took a cab to get on the plane. Then they met Gran's friend Tex and his mule, Sam and it looks like they're about to go camping. Who is it who has the ranch out west? It's Tex, Gran's friend. Josh and Jen were excited to travel with Gran. Why do you think they felt that way? If you remember at the beginning, they wonder what they'll do when Gran's not there. They were sad to see her go. So I think that they were excited to go with her for something to do with their grandma. What words would you use to describe tax? I remember they said he was a big man. He seems like he might be fun. He's taking them camping, so that might be a little bit of an adventure, too. Who do they meet at the ranch? Not Tex. That's where they meet the mule, the mule named Sam. And what does Sam do? Sam is carrying all the camping stuff on his back. That's right. And he's even got some bells around his neck. We learn that Josh and Jen will get to go camping. What do you think will happen on this camping trip? Hmm. This one is for you to think about. What do you think might happen on the camping trip? Those are some pretty good ideas. I wonder if we'll get to see the actual camping trip. For now, we've got two workbook pages, 17.1 and pausing point 41. On page 17.1, you'll answer questions that go along with the story, The Trip West. On pausing point 41. Here you'll sort nouns, common nouns, from proper nouns. Underneath the picture of the girl, you'll write words that are common nouns. Underneath the picture of George Washington, you'll write words that are proper nouns. Let's look at an example. This first word says 
tax. Is tax a common noun or a proper noun? Tax is the name of a person, so it's a proper noun. What about twin? Is twin a common noun or a proper noun? Twin is a common noun because it's not the name of anyone. Finish the rest of the words and sort them between common nouns and proper nouns. That's all we've got for today. Great work, and I'll see you tomorrow.